Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate today the great solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul, we once again profess our faith in Jesus Christ as professed by these apostles. We specially pray today for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, the successor of Peter. Through the intercession of these saints, we pray that united with Pope Francis, we may continue to preach the Word of God. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Good Shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to, to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, you we adore, adore you, you, we glorify you, you we, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, God heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who on the solemnity of the Apostles Peter and Paul Give us the noble and holy joy of this day. Grant, we pray, that your church may in all things follow the teaching of those through whom she received the beginnings of right religion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, King Herod laid hands upon some members of the church to harm them. He had James, the brother of John, killed by the sword. And when he saw that this was pleasing to the Jews, he proceeded to arrest Peter also. It was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. He had him taken into custody and put in prison under the guard of four squads of four soldiers each. He intended to bring him before the people after Passover. Peter thus was being kept in prison but prayer by the church was fervently being made to God on his behalf. On the very night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, secured by double chains, was sleeping between two soldiers, while outside the door, guards kept watch on the prison. Suddenly, the angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the cell. He tapped Peter on the side and awakened him, saying, Get up quickly. The chains fell from his wrist. The angel said to him, Put on your belt and your sandals. He did so. Then he said to him, Put on your cloak and follow me. So he followed him out, not realizing that what was happening through the angel was real, and he thought he was seeing a vision. They passed the first guard, then the second, and came to the iron gate leading out to the city, which opened for them by itself. They emerged and made their way down an alley, and suddenly the angel left him. Then Peter recovered his senses and said, now I know for certain that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from the hand of Herod and from all that the Jewish people were expecting. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. 
glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard and from all his distress, he saved him. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord delivered me from all my fears. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. I, Paul, am already being poured out like a libation, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have completed well, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me, which the Lord, the just judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but to all who have longed for his appearance. The Lord stood by me and gave me strength, so that through me the proclamation might be completed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was rescued from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil threat and will bring me safe to his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we commemorate the two apostles who are called the pillars of the church, Saints Peter and Paul, both of whom went to Rome and both of them were martyred and offer their lives in Rome. That is why today, the successor of Peter is in Rome to celebrate 
to commemorate our unity with the apostles. And today, my dear brothers and sisters, I would like to point out some lessons on the life of the two pillars of the church, Saints Peter and Paul. The first lesson that I would like to point out comes from the life of Saint Peter from our first reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We see here an episode when Peter was imprisoned. And let us remember how Peter was released, rescued by God from prison. Makikita po natin sa kwento ng unang pagbasa ngayong araw na si San Pedro ay ikinulong ni Herodes. At paano nga ba siya iniligtas ng Panginoon mula sa kanyang piitan? We see here God sending an angel to rescue Peter. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a reminder for us that only an angel from God can rescue us from evil, from the evil of prison. Only goodness can rescue us from prison. We cannot be rescued by evil. Only God, only an angel from God, only goodness coming from God can rescue us out of prison, out of the darkness of evil. Kaya mga kapatid, kung tayo ay nasa parang ganitong sitwasyon, para kang naiipit, nagigipit, kanino ka kakapit? Kakapit ka ba sa masama? Hindi ka maililigtas ng masama. Lalo kang ikukulong niyan. Lalo kang ilulubog niyan. Kumapit sa anghel ng Diyos. Kumapit sa kabutihan ng Diyos. Ang kabutihan lang ng Diyos ang makapagliligtas sa atin palabas mula sa sitwasyon ng kasamaan, ng kagipitan, ng piitan. The second lesson that I would like to point out is from the life of St. Paul. From our second reading in his letter to Timothy, we can see here that St. Paul, amidst all the sufferings that he endured, parehas po sila ni San Pedro, parehas silang nagdusa. But in the midst of all the sufferings St. Paul endured, he was looking forward. He said, From now on, the crown of righteousness awaits me. Crown of righteousness ang korona ng kabutihan. I am now looking forward to the crown of righteousness. That is my goal. That is my faith. And like St. Peter, St. Paul also was looking at righteousness and goodness. My dear brothers and sisters, this is the second lesson of our celebration today. Look forward to the crown of righteousness. Anong corona ba ang hinahanap natin? What is the type of crown that I want over my head? Do I want a crown of treasure? Do I want to be crowned because I am the most powerful, I am the most uh, beautiful in this place. What kind of crown do I want? A crown of authority? A crown of pleasure? A crown of violence? A 
crown filled with guns. St. Paul tells us, look forward to the crown of righteousness. Sana tayong lahat, kagaya din ni San Pablo, ang ating nais makamtan ay ang korona ng kabutihan. Dahil kagaya ng makikita natin sa buhay ni San Pedro at ni San Pablo, ang kabutihan lamang ang makapagliligtas sa atin. Ang kabutihan lamang ang makapagbibigay sa atin ng tagumpay. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, like St. Peter in our Gospel passage today, let us once again profess to Jesus Christ that we believe in Him as the Christ, the Son of the living God. And there is no other way in the world how we can achieve victory only through goodness in Jesus Christ. Mga kapatid, ngayong araw, ipakita po natin bilang mga tagasunod ni Kristo na natuto sa pagtuturo ni San Pedro at San Pablo na tayo ay naniniwala sa kabutihan at ang panging daan upang tayo ay mailigtas ng Diyos patungo sa tagumpay ay ang daan ng kabutihan. Amen. Please stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. We bring our intentions to the Father with that same faith of the Apostles Peter and Paul, with the faith of the fisherman on whom the church is built, and the faith of the teacher of so many nations. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that Pope Francis, successor of St. Peter, may bear the keys of the kingdom with wisdom and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that missionaries in foreign lands may have the zeal which St. Paul had in bringing the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may love our faith and eagerly share it with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer, that those who are suffering on account of their faith may find strength in the blood shed by the apostles. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the faithful departed may be made worthy of the crown of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty God and Father, hear the prayers of this community gathered in the faith of the Apostles and helped by their intercession. We ask this through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the prayer of the apostles, O Lord, accompany the sacrificial gift that we present to your name for consecration, and may their intercession make us devoted to you in celebration of the sacrifice. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For by your providence, the blessed apostles Peter and Paul bring us joy. Peter, foremost in confessing the faith, Paul, its outstanding preacher, Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so each in a different way gathered together the one family of Christ and revered together throughout the world. They share one martyr's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim holy holy holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, Broderick, his assistant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saints Peter and Paul, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Be
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church, that persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and one soul made steadfast in your love through christ our lord amen the lord be with you and with your spirit bow your heads and pray for god's blessing may almighty god bless you for he has made you steadfast in saint peter's saving confession and through it has set you on the solid rock of the church's faith now and forever. Amen. And having instructed you by the tireless preaching of St. Paul, may God teach you constantly by His example to win brothers and sisters for Christ now and forever. Amen. So that by the keys of St. Peter and the words of St. Paul, and by the support of their intercession, God may bring us happily to that homeland that Peter attained on the cross and Paul by the blade of a sword forever and ever. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. We stand before the grand horizon, five hundred years of faith, grateful to take.